23 after. Glad you're here with us. It's Betsy and Brian on Morning Living because we're going to inspire you to put seafood everywhere. Yeah. In every course, in every dish. I'm all for it. And we don't do it alone. We're doing it with Chef Sean Davis. He's known as Big Shake. Chef Quick. Big Shake, that's Chef it. Chef Big Shake. What's going on? Uh, good morning. Good morning. Founder of CBS Foods. This is his thing. He's like he's like seafood guy. Absolutely. So seafood guy, meet Brian. Uh, it doesn't matter what hero. we talk about. <laughs> Brian's like, can we put shrimp, shrimp in that? That's, that's it, all that's he says. It. Shrimp is a beautiful thing. It beautiful really thing. is. Absolutely. And you can put it in, along with lobster and other things, and blend it in with anything oh, yeah. you want. Absolutely. Shrimp burgers. That that's, when I that that is something I've got to try. That makes shrimp try. even easier for eating for oh, him. <laughs> it just gets it all in there. <laughs> now I don't even have to deal with tails or <laughs> no, it's just right in there. <laughs> if not last week for a quick lunch, he's like, I'll just have the shrimp. I got the big shrimp cocktail, big giant. Those are big shrimp too. They were yeah, jumbos. you left the ta- half the tails. I, once you left, we we're talking about. I, it. I know, the there, Brian. Come on, you can't leave the tails. I know. Well, you, you know. know that as a maker of food, like that's like money on the table. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, got to get in there, man. Got to get deep. Get in. In. I had to catch a train too. The train was in the lay and had to go in there. He was like eating the filet, basically. You know, he ate the good part and then he left. <laughs> so, how did you get into food? You know what? Um, quick story. Um, Twelve years old, uh, my mother sent me to a place called Fire Island off the coast of Long Island, mm-hmm. Ocean Beach, Fire Island. And um, I was a little bit of a knucklehead back then, and uh, she put me to work. And I went to live with a gentleman named Giovanni Palmaro. He was a world-renowned chef, restaurant owner, and Started as a dishwasher in the restaurant at 12, and uh, he brought me through the ranks and got on the line at the age of 13 to start a saute chef. And, I mean, from soup to nuts, he taught me the game. And um, I lived on top of the restaurant with him. So uh, <laughs> yeah, see, yeah, we yeah. just inspired half yeah. the mothers listening right that's now it, to, think they're, to take their 12 or 13 or, in some yeah. cases, 14-year-old sons and put them to work. She taught me early, very <laughs> early in the game. But, I mean, that was my passion. I stayed in the kitchen, and, um, like I said, he taught me everything from soup to nuts. It was a, an Italian eatery. And um, Italian food is my favorite. And, um, I mean, that was my start. That was my inspiration. Did you, now, did you, when did you get to Italy? Have you been, have you been able to go over? And never, no. Never, you have to go. I want to. Because so that bad. should be like your lifelong goal, bucket yeah, list. Absolutely. It's, I got I to gotta put that on it. I got to put that on it. Because <laughs> everything you there. taste here is like, it's like blended of little pieces of there. You're going to go right. from place to place. It's so cool. You're I right. think you'll love it. I want to go. Meantime, you're trying to bring fish to every plate that you can. I, I mean, you have to. You have to. You 